Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you're joining us from. Welcome to episode 22 of the Coaches Corner. Very exciting. Um, today, we actually have a very special guest. Um, we have Allison Sobe with us. She is the VP of Marketing. Hi, Allison. Hi, Myrna. How's it going? It's going great. Going great. Really That's awesome great. things happening at Iris Vision. Yes, indeed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I had to close my inbox so that I'm not distracted by all the stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, really great stuff. Um, before we dive in, Allison, I'd like to get to know you a little bit more. So tell us, um, where are you from? I'm from San Diego, California. And uh, oddly enough, I don't know how well you know San Diego, but Specifically, I grew up in a little town called Pacific Beach, which if you know PB, um, it's like now like a skater uh, sort of nightclub scene. So it's sort of odd that I would grow up there. But when I grew up there, it was just a small beach town. So yeah, and then nice. I moved up here in the Bay Area. Um, oh my gosh, about 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I like San Diego. I love the weather down there for sure. And um, I've been in the Bay Area too, so it's it's nice, you know, especially being from Arizona and then going to California, it's totally mm -hmm. different. Um, so tell us um, about your background. You got into marketing, right? So what led you to go into marketing? So it's, um, it's actually a kind of a funny story, I think. So I had two loves when I was growing up, horseback riding and art. And I promise this is gonna get, get uh, take us all the way around to how I got into marketing. But anyway, um, so I uh, had a huge passion for horseback riding, um, grew, uh, rode while I was growing up, rode through college, and then when I went to go look for quote unquote a real job um, after school, uh, uh, there was a company called Troxel that makes riding helmets, and they didn't know anything about the horse industry. Um, they primarily focused on um, cycling helmets, but they wanted to make helmets for horseback riding. So anyway, they were interested in teaching me marketing if I could teach them about horses. So the first half of my career was in um, um, the horse industry doing marketing. And then um, there was a company that made a human um, medical device, a medical device for humans, and they wanted to see if they could actually make that technology and apply it to horses. Oh, so wow. That's actually how I got into medical device marketing. Um, so they hired me to launch that product in the equine market. And then eventually I stopped working on the equine, equine side and worked on the um, human medical side. So um, that's how I got into medical device marketing. Oh, cool. So horseback riding has always uh, been an interesting thing to me. I've never actually done it. So that's really cool. Oh my gosh, you would love it. It's actually a really, I think for someone that's partially sighted out and there's some really amazing riders out there that are partially sighted. It's incredible to watch them ride. Oh, wow. That's yeah. interesting. And so um, I understand you're into boating as well. Yes, that's kind of like the new, uh, the latest chapter of my life, I guess. Yeah, um, we have a 34 foot sailboat that uh, Actually, when I back when I was working um, at a, another horseback riding company, this was again before a medical device. So my now husband and I um, bought a boat, quit our jobs, and sailed around the Caribbean for a year and a half. Woo! Wow, <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was fun and it was terrifying. We always uh, we refer to it as concentrated life. It's like you know. Uh, the best of times and worst of times. We saw some kind of crazy stuff out there, but it was a total blast. Um, not just the sailing part, but um, I just think the Caribbean, um, getting to see a different different part of the world and experience different lifestyles. Um, it was, uh, you know, I guess living on a boat when you're traveling to some of those destinations, um, mm -hmm. it's not so much when you're on a boat, it feels more like, um, you don't feel so much like a tourist. You feel like a part of the community. So you get a really different perspective on things. It was amazing. It was amazing. I'd love to take my kids someday. We'll see if I'm ever brave enough. Um, but I think it'd be so good for them to, to see that um, a different lifestyle too. That's cool. That's really cool. Well, next time I'm out there, I would love to see your boat. <laughs> yes, totally. We should do it. Yes, maybe use my iris vision to 
spot whales or something. I don't know, seals. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. It's so funny. I don't, now that I think about it, um, you know, some of the photography on the website, it's actually people sailing on a, our boat wearing oh. Irish fish. To inspire, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, and I bet uh, it went over well. Inspire is really cool looking. It's uh, yeah. nice that it's, it looks like uh, sunglasses. Mm -hmm. so, very cool. But, um, Tell us how you came to Iris Vision, since we're talking about Iris Vision now. Tell us how you came to us. So, um, well, I have uh, kind of a cool little, at least I think it is anyway, um, niche in marketing and medical device. Um, so I used to work in the physical therapy um, part of marketing in particular. So the first in orthopedics and sports medicine, and then eventually I worked for a company called Exobionics. They make wearable robots for people with various forms of paralysis or spinal cord injuries, um, oh. folks that have strokes or other kind of neurological conditions. Um, and from there, I worked uh, later at a company that made um, part of a prosthetic leg for amputees. And then after that, an anti-gravity treadmill, which is again, um, really useful for people with various um, motor uh, disabilities, neuro conditions. And so Iris Vision felt like just sort of a natural progression of a different part of the market with people that are differently abled um, and you know less more on the capital equipment and more on the digital health side. So I just felt like this was an amazing opportunity to learn a different part of the part of the industry and uh, work with um, cool people like you making a difference. Awesome. And how long have you been with Iris Vision? I can't believe I can say this, but it's been um almost well it's a little, over, a little over two years which is crazy i can't believe it's been like the blink of an eye yes it's amazing how fast the time flies and i mean the company is still fairly new right we started in 2016 mm -hmm. and so here we are um we've progressed and we've evolved so much throughout these short years so you know from when you started till now how do you feel about the involvement of the, the device, the product, the company in general? Oh my gosh, it is wild. I mean, it's crazy to think, um, well, not only has it been two years, but you know, most of that's been in a pandemic. Um, so, which has had a huge impact, I think, on our uh, product roadmap, as an example. Um, as you know, we're working on some of those remote monitoring, um, uh, self-administered vision tests that we've got going on. Um, which has been somewhat fueled by the pandemic. Um, but I just think, you know, the t last two years, how much we've grown and evolved. Um, I look back at uh, Iris Vision Live, and I know people just love that product for a million reasons. It's made such a big impact on people's lives. And now looking at Inspire, it's a different form factor, has different features. It's more sim um, sort of a simplified user interface, but it's a nice, uh, a little something for everyone. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been huge and we have been so busy trying to get all this stuff out the door and get the clinical trials started. It's, um, it's been quite a road. That's Very exciting. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I know that when uh, I started, well, it's coming up on three years for me next month. So it's really cool. Um, of course I started as a user and I started with, you know, the original Iris Vision headset, right? And um, I remember like not even having half the features that it has now and then you know moving on to you know inspire it's like oh my gosh it's so <laughs> so yes. amazing and then so exciting to be part of that you know yes so it, it's been really uh, a cool uh, journey even um, getting to know you and everything too because I know that you've made such a difference um, for us in the marketing world as well so definitely um, love uh, everything that you've done um, with uh, social media and all the other um, webinars and such that we have too. So if anyone's interested out there to catch any of the webinars that we've done, um, where can they find it? So they're all on our YouTube channel. Um, so just look up Iris Vision on YouTube, which of course you can watch YouTube through your Iris Vision Live, um, which is fantastic. And you know, on that note, um, thinking of uh, YouTube just adding all the their the YouTube TV, you can watch 
pretty much like anything now, like live streaming football, the whole thing. It's kind of crazy. So, um, and while you mentioned that, Myrna, I wanted to just give a shout out. So for anybody that's watching, um, we would love to hear what you would like to hear on Coach's Corner or for webinars. Um, you know, we've talked a little bit, we've been toying with the idea of making a user group on Facebook for oh, Iris. That would be exciting. I know people would love that. Yes, yeah. So if anybody's out there watching, you know, type, let us know if that's something that's of interest. Um, yeah, because people like really like to um, chat about the different ways that they use it and, and what it's good for and get ideas from other people. So fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, again, you've been here just over two years, so you've definitely seen um, all kinds of different uh, things going on with the company, but as well as hearing stories from our users. So what story to you sticks out the most? What was the most like profound experience that you heard about or read about? Um, hmm. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I don't even know where to begin. Um, well, you know what I'll, which story I'll tell, which I think is, um, so we have so many people that obviously like they just put Iris Vision on and it's that one aha moment that we talk about all the time that just, I mean, to see people, they're just sort of like frozen in awe. You know, they obviously see their loved ones. And, uh, you know, we were joking about how um, a lot of people put it on when they see their spouse and they haven't seen him in, in many years. Like, wow, you got old. Um, <laughs> but honestly, probably one of my favorite stories is, um, so you know about Tom Persky. Tom Persky is our um, VP of uh, Consumer and Professional Outreach. He's also um, partially sighted. He's got Stargard's disease. And I'll never forget, um, we were at the AAO, the Ophthalmology Conference in Moscone Center in San Francisco. Um, and Tom, so he's just taught me a ton about what it's like to be partially sighted and what's important to those people. Um, we were walking around, so Moscone Center, if, um, if you don't know where that is, it's in San Francisco, sort of near Union Square. So like, imagine a super packed, busy city, right? Um, with lots of traffic. Mm -hmm. So. Tom was walking me around the trade show um, and there's two different two different halls of Moscone so we had to cross the streets and stuff um, and walking walking around with me and introducing me to folks blew my mind to see how functional he is given how little vision he has um, and just walking around with him and the whole time he's talking to me about you know why there's bumps on the on the corners um, of the streets so people know that they're at those corners he's telling me how he's using his eccentric vision to go on the escalators um you know how he reads signs uh like you would never know that he had lost most of his vision i just think that is um it's just amazing to see how he's learned to function um, I think he's uh, taught me so much. He's been such an influencer in the community. Um, he's influenced, you know, our, our product roadmap. So for me, you know, when I think about what's been um, one of the biggest moments for me, it was being able to, to travel with him, see how well he functions, um, and again, learn so much about uh, that world from him. Yes, Tom is awesome. Uh, and I remember when I met him, um, I was about, uh, 17 or 18 years old, so it was... Oh, oh my gosh! Where'd you meet him? <laughs> um, well, I actually met him uh, at my high school. I went to the school for the deaf and blind, mm -hmm. um, because I, I have star guards as well. Mm -hmm. And um, he and his wife came to our school and did a demonstration of all kinds of different low vision uh, assistive technology. Mm -hmm. So um, it was really cool to meet someone else who had star guards, because for such a long time, star guards was very rare. Um, and it was not common to meet others who had star guards. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, now fast forward to now, and especially being a coach at Iris Vision and everything, just coming across all kinds of people who have star guards. And now with social media, there's all kinds of like star guard support groups too. Um, so yeah, that's how I met him. And then almost uh, 20 years later, he came to the low vision support group that I facilitate here locally in my community. And he actually did a demo of Iris Vision. So that's how uh, I came here. <laughs> I <laughs> I <am now. laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's, it was quite a journey. So yeah, Tom is amazing. Yeah. Um, but definitely, definitely love what you and your team are doing 
um, for uh, the company um, spreading the word and you know um, providing all these different um, things for our users, our current users, and maybe our potential users uh, to have just at their fingertips with click of a button from our website to just a you know click of a button to watch a video. So thank you so much for everything that you do for for Iris Vision and for um, all of us that are out there who use Iris Vision as well. That is sweet of you to say, but I don't feel like I deserve any thanks. It's all thanks to you guys and our community of users. It's um, it feel it's quite an honor to I think work with this company with this technology. I um, just can't stand up about it. And actually, can I turn? I'm going to turn the tables on you because when you were talking about your coaching experience, now I want to hear your um, favorite Iris Vision story. Like, what was your most impactful moment? Oh man, <laughs> it, is, it is it is tough. Coach now. Yeah, it's tough, especially, you know, I have like so many coaching sessions that I've done. It's it's hard to pick one, but I love the ones where, like you said, they put the device on and they're seeing the face of their loved one for the first time. Um, mm -hmm. There's this one couple <laughs> that sticks out in my head that he looked at his wife and he said, your hair is messy. <laughs> <laughs> your hair is messy. And then he's a you've got an older kid and I'm like, oh, that is so cute. Aww. So yeah, it, there was that. And then of course there's those emotional ones, you know, especially um, when it's a, a man, you know, and, and he puts on the Iris vision and he was seeing the faces of his loved ones for the first time. And he actually had to tell me to hold on a second because he was so emotional. He had to gather himself, you know, and we get that all the time where people will cry, people will laugh, you know, people will look around their house and say, oh my gosh, I had this one lady who looked at her microwave and she was like, I didn't know my microwave was so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and, and of course like the younger ones, you know, they it's really fun to work with the younger um, mm -hmm. uh, users as well because they love like the YouTube feature, you know, on the Iris Vision Live. And um, one that I really re enjoy, I remember, she was looking up a recipe for chocolate cake. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So yeah, the, there's, it's just, uh, the stories are never ending, you know? <laughs> you know, it's so funny as you say that, it just um, reminds me so much, like again, um, you know, working with you and Tom, um, James, everybody, <laughs> Um, and even like, again, when I think at past companies, when I was working with um, folks with spinal cord injuries or that were um, working for to recover from strokes, um, amputees, like what comes to mind to me is just how, um, like, look at you, you're so bright and smiling, and happy and positive. You've got such great energy, um, you know, for anybody watching. Myrna's always like posting stuff on this, um, like self-development Slack channel that we have. And uh, it just reminds me you know, when people, I think, um, are starting to learn to live with a disability, um, that moment where they feel like, oh my gosh, how am I going to live through this? Whether it, again, like learning that they've got a disease that's going to um, impact their vision for the rest of their lives, or whether they, again, like are figuring out how they're going to live in a wheelchair or with the loss of a limb. And there's life after that. Like there's that severe mourning period, but at the same time, um, you know, again, I feel so honored to work in this little in this little area of, um, of the medical device industry to see that there's this there's another side to it. Eventually, you know, you learn to live with that technology like ours, like Iris Vision, um, can really make an impact on people's lives so that you can actually look up recipes or watch your favorite sports game or um, you know even just like navigate a grocery store and shop. Like it, it gets okay. better, you know. Absolutely. And just things as easy as setting your oven or picking out a nail color. Yeah. <laughs> you know, those type of things. It's 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 awesome. And it's great to see what Iris Vision is doing. It's exciting. Um, all the different things that are coming down the pipeline here with, like you mentioned, the uh, ability to test your site and you know monitor your site. That's really cool. Um, you know, to the new device that's <clears throat> a smaller form factor. And, you know, we still have the original one, too. So it's it's really awesome to see where Iris Vision is heading, for sure. 
And um, I want to thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're very busy, so I definitely appreciate the time that you took to sit with us and, and uh, kind of let us get to know you a little bit too. So that way, you know, people out there can see who's at Iris Vision, what type of people are part of this company. And it's, it's amazing people like yourself and like Tom Persky that make the company great. So thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close it out with a pro tip, as I always, always do. Um, so pro tip for today, guys, uh, when it comes to um, your Iris Vision, whether it's your Iris Vision Live, as I mentioned, whether it's your Iris Vision Live or your Iris Vision Inspire, when you're getting ready for your coaching session, it's really important to make sure that your phone is totally charged. So make sure that you charge your, um, the cell phone portion of your device. Um, we've provided wireless charging pads, so use those. Um, if you don't know how to use those, you can absolutely look through the user's guide or call into our awesome customer support line and they will be more than happy to walk you through the charging process. But very important to have those phones charged up for your coaching session. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Allison, again, thank you so much. And we look forward to the next one. Bye. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Happy Friday. Bye.